This clip will show you how to input third-party billing information in a job so that your biller doesn't have to remember to change the bill to when that time comes. Here you'll notice I've already opened up the calendar manager and I've already found the job I want to input the third-party billing information for. To start off, double-click the job to enter the setup and click on the Parties tab. The top section of the Parties tab is reserved for all parties added to this job. As you can see, by default, we automatically add the scheduling contact as a party. If you want to add the third party billing information for the scheduling party, simply double click the listed party and click on the billing info tab. In the middle section, you will see the bill to firm and contact fields. By default, we have same as sold to already selected, so the scheduling contact information is already listed there. Uncheck same as sold to so you can manually set who the bill to will be. Now to the right, click on the lookup contact button next to the bill to contact field. A lookup contact window will now appear and here you'll want to search and select the third party contact to be billed. First clear all these search criteria and then you'll want to search for part of the insurance adjuster name. In my example I did find it. If you do not find the adjuster listed as a contact in your system, you can click new at the top left and you can add a new contact on the fly. Since I found mine, I'll make sure I highlight them and click select. Once you've selected that contact, they will now be listed as the bill to contact and firm. And now you can proceed down below to enter data into the claim number field, the name of insured, date of loss, and any direct billing notes. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click save and close. And now eventually when you guys go and actually build this job and you're billing to your ordering client, the third party billing information will automatically appear on the invoice.